What's up guys, uh, this is Ferox, and just to start off this video, this is going to be a tutorial. Um, I've getting been getting a lot of requests on tutorials. Um, I'm going to be releasing a few of these over the next uh, one and a half weeks. Um, I have exams coming up, and I don't want to go inactive on you guys, but I also don't want to let my marks slip and stuff, so I want to get my marks up there, you know. So, since tutorials are less time consuming as speed arts or you know like giveaways and stuff I will be doing giveaways by the way thanks a lot for 1000 subscribers I really appreciate the support you guys have been giving me I read all your comments and all your messages and I may not be able to reply to all of them but I really enjoy uh, list, uh, reading what you guys have to say so let's just get right into this um, so this tutorial is gonna be a pen tooling tutorial all it's gonna be the pen tool basics basically so let's say you want to make make a logo for your clan or you're doing graphics for somebody and they want their logo but you they don't have um, a 2D file of their logo and you need to make one so you can bring it into Cinema 4D to make it 3D okay so all, you're provided with the 3D logo right here so you need a pen tool around this to bring it in to Cinema 4D basically it'll be going from let's say bring, making a 3D image 2D like that or you can bring that into Cinema 4D and you know with the paths and stuff so um, okay so here's your pen tool if you don't know where it's located it's located right here um, right above the text tool so let's just zoom in here Yeah, this is my first time doing a tutorial so don't uh, if I, I'm make if I'm going too fast going too slow not describing myself enough just let me know in the comments um, so yeah so here's your pen tool and this is used to basically outline things make uh, make you can make logos with this like you can do logos in Photoshop or Illustrator but so yeah so here's the face clan logo as I designed myself way back in the day when I had like my old channel so what you want to do is you want to pen tool around the edges here so what we're going to do, we're, since it's straight edges, if you want a straight edge, to make sure it's straight, hold down shift and click, and you make a point right there. I don't know if you guys can see that point, but then you click on over on this side, and there's another point, and that's perfectly, this is perfectly straight right here. And then for the angles, uh, you can shift click as well, but for some angles, they might not, it might not be the right angle that you can shift click, so you just can you can just click you know you know what I mean to make it more accurate um, and then shift click again because you want it to be as straight as you s straight as you possibly can get it for cinema 4d um, so yeah shift clicking again and you don't need to do it halfway here see doing that halfway there's no point of doing that this just makes it just go all the way when you're shift clicking this is the m most uh, see I tried shift clicking there and it didn't go all the way so what I have to do, just get it right on the corner there, see? And obviously this isn't going to be as accurate as this because it's just for the sake of the tutorial. Oh, what did I do there? What did I even press? Um, okay, there we go. Oh my god, what did I do? What did I do? Um... there we go I just need to undo that so we shift click again so this is basic pen basic usage of the pen tool and yes this does take a while to get it perfect and that's what you want in cinema 40 because if you don't get it perfect an edge might be on an angle and you can re you can really it's really noticeable stuff like that um, yeah so it's pretty simple like this is basically a simple tutorial on how to use the pen tool um so yeah there so now you're done okay and it's obviously not as accurate as it's gonna be but with this see what I did these lines outlining the symbol is called a path so if you go up here in your paths which is another tab that should be beside your layers um, so you find your work path here and actually, you know what? I'll show you guys how to export it to Cinema 4D. Since the next tutorial is a bit harder, it'll, 
Um, yeah, I'll talk about the next tutorial later. Sorry, I'm getting off track here. Um, so yeah, basically with this, with these paths, you can export them to Cinema 4D, or unless if you just want it, want it to make it 2D, be more accurate about it, you can do, you can be like, oh, make selection, OK, make a new layer, and then, and then fill it white, and then select, deselect, and there you have a 2D version of your desired logo, right? There's a 2D version, and that could be, you should always have a 2D version and a 3D version of every logo you make, you know? It's just, it's just because not everybody wants everything 3, 3D. But anyways, yeah, there's a 2D, okay? So, let's just undo all that. I don't, we don't necessarily have to, but I'm just going to do it to make it easier. So, paths, here's your work path right here. So, if you want to bring this 2D, well, it's going to, this image into Cinema 4D so you can make it your own. Um, go to File, Export, Paths to Illustrator. And you want to, since, since this is entitled Work Path, you select Work Path, OK. And then you save it to your desktop, tutorial, whatever. And just keep this the same. I don't think, yeah, you can't change it. Just keep that the same. And then save. And then let's open up your Cinema 4D. Yeah, I got R13, by the way. I upgraded, um, I don't know how long ago, but yeah, whatever. It's pretty good. I like it. It's, I, it's a lot more cleaner than the old one. So let's, oops, um, view. Sorry about that, guys. And you just, you basically drag this in, or you can file open. And then here's your phase clan, and you're wondering, um, why isn't it 3D, Ferox? Why isn't it 3D? Well, to make this 3D, what we gotta do, we gotta go to this little icon right here, click and hold, and go to Extrude NURBS. And what you do is drag your logo into the Extrude NURBS, and then see that? See how it becomes 3D there? And now from there, you can edit it as much as you want, change the depth, you know, make it, uh, put some caps on it, screw you um, you know put some caps on it you know you want a bit of bevel there and then you can obviously add uh, add some color okay so there's that's basic pen tooling right there and that's it's this is kinda like a double tutorial you're exporting it into cinema 4d so the next tutorial it will be doing more of pen tooling round objects or round shapes which is a lot more complicated to get precise and I'll show you a way how to get it precise it's not perfect but it's as probably as best as you can get it so thanks for watching this tutorial guys um, post more tutorial suggestions in, uh, in the comments below and I hope you enjoy this video I think I already said that like, twice already but whatever I'll see you guys later peace